Hi guys, welcome back to 375 Dance Studio. My name's Amanda and today we're going to be talking about technique in the jive basic step. So we're going to start with the feet and then I'll work up to the knees and then work up to the hips. Okay, so the follower and the leader have two different basic steps, so we're just going to go over both of them. But first, prepare your right foot to dance. We're just going to go over the steps. So for the follower, it's back, forward, triple step, triple step. That's the basic step. And then for the leader with the left foot going back, back, forward, triple step, triple step. Okay? So first let's talk about the footwork. So when we're going back into that rock step, it is ball flat, ball flat, and then we have ball, ball, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat. And then the same exact thing for the leader. Again, we are gonna have ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat. And if you notice, I'm not fully closing my feet together. It's because jive is super, super fast, so we don't have the time to really get those feet fully together. So it's okay if you don't get those feet together. So one more time, let's just do the footwork. For the follower, right foot going back, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat. And for the leader, with the left foot going back, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat. Okay, I'm gonna show you also facing the side so you can see. Starting with the follower steps, right foot going back, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat. One more time, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat. And then the leader steps, left foot going back, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat. In jive, we like to use the inside edges of our big toes. So what I mean by that is, I'll step to the side so you can see. I use the inside edge of that big toe, and again, inside edge of this big toe, and then as I step inside edge of that big toe, inside edge, inside edge, inside edge, inside edge, inside edge. And again, I'm going to do it one time facing the front. Inside edge, 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 inside edge. And I'll do it to the other side. For the leaders, we have inside edge of the big toe, inside edge of the big toe, inside, 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 inside. And then one time facing the front. Inside edge of the big toe, inside edge of the big toe, inside, 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 inside. Okay, now let's go over the timing in our feet. So again, starting with the followers, we are going to put our right foot behind and we are going to do full count, full count, and then we have three quarter, quarter, one, three quarter, quarter, full beat. And again, full beat, full beat. Three quarter, quarter, full beat. Three quarter, quarter, full beat. And now I'm gonna do it with the leader steps, left foot going back and full beat. Full beat, three quarter, quarter, full beat. Three quarter, quarter, full beat. Full beat. Full beat, three quarter, quarter, one, three quarter, quarter, one. On the rock step, this is where it gets tricky coordinating when that back heel goes down and when the front heel comes up. So while we are stepping, I stop my foot going back when my knee 
hits my other knee. So when my right knee hits my left knee, I know this is how big my step should be. Now, as I am putting my back heel down, my front heel will start to lift up. And then from here, I put my front heel down and straighten my front knee. And again, so we have knee to knee, heel down as the front heel is going up, and then heel down as the front knee is straightening. Let's do it for the leader. Left foot, knee to knee, heel down as the other heel is coming up, Heel down as the front leg is straightening. And again, knee to knee, heel down as the front heel is coming up, and heel down and the front knee is straightening. So that's a perfect transition into our next little segment, which is our knees. So we just talked a lot about our feet, so now we're moving up to our knees. From here, we have our foot prepared to dance, so our right knee is bent. We let it go back and it's staying bent, 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 bent as the standing leg is staying straight. As I'm putting the back heel down, my back leg will straighten as my front leg bends. So we're getting this coordination. Let's go back and try that again. One is the back leg is straightening and the front leg is bending. Let's do that again. And again. And again. Good. Okay, let's try it to the other side. Bend the knee, bring it back, and as that one, as the back knee straightens, the front knee is going to bend. Do it again. And back. And back. Okay? Now, after we have that rock step, so we let one knee bend as the other knee straightens. And now, as I'm coming back, like again I said before, that heel comes down, straighten that leg, from here, my back leg is going to release, come in, and it's going to bend, okay? I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see that position, okay? Now, I'm gonna do my ball, ball, keep my knees soft, and now as I do my ball flat, I'm going to go from a bent knee to a straight knee, and I'm only straightening that right knee, that standing leg, I'm still keeping my left leg compressed. So here, and then coming back, again, this is bending, soft knee, soft, and then my last step, I go put my heel down and straighten only that leg, my left leg straightens, as my right foot pulls in and gets ready to go for another basic step. So let's do it again. So we do bend to straight, and this one's going into the bend, and then into the straight, and I have bend, bend, bend straight, bend, bend, bend straight, and Bend straight, bend straight, bend, bend, bend straight, bend, bend, bend straight. And we'll try it to the other side. We have bend straight, bend straight, bend, bend, bend straight, bend, bend, bend straight. Bend straight, bend straight, bend, bend, bend straight, 
bend, bend, bend straight. One more time, bend straight, bend straight, bend, bend, bend straight, bend, 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 bend straight. Okay, so we talked about the feet, we talked about the knees, and now let's move up to the hips. I use Cuban action when I do the rock step, and I use pendulum or swing action as I'm doing the triple step. Let's get into it. Followers, right foot prepares to dance. As I'm going back, I'm going to, with my right foot, and right hip, I'm going to do a circle, our pendulum and rotation. So with that right hip, I'm gonna go pendulum forward and rotation around. And then as I step forward on my left foot, I'm going to do pendulum and rotation around. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see that a little bit better. And Step, pendulum forward and around rotation, and step, pendulum and rotation. And again, let's just practice that. Step, pendulum rotation, and pendulum rotation. And again, step, hip, and step, hip. Okay, let's do it for the Leaders, left foot, step and hip, step and hip. And again, step, pendulum forward and diagonal, that way, pendulum and rotation around, and step, pendulum, rotation and around. Okay? Now, on the triple step, we want to do a pendulum action. So we need to start at our highest. We need to somehow get to our lowest and then back up again to our highest. So we're going to have this pendulum or you can even call it a swing action from highest point to lowest point to highest point. So after I just finish my pendulum rotation, pendulum rotation, I should be at my highest. Now, as I'm taking this, my first step of my triple step, I'm starting to bring my hips to my lowest point. So this is about neutral here when I'm taking my second step. And then on my third step, I'm going to bring my hips back to the highest point over to the right, step and back over to the highest point. So I whoop, finish that swing action. Now again, I'm at my highest point, and then when I take my first step, it's going to come through, through to my lowest point, to neutral on my second step, and on my third step, back through to my highest point. So it's gonna start at my highest, I'm gonna go neutral, and highest, neutral, and highest, okay? So that's one way of doing the triple step. There's also another way, I like to call it the little roller coaster. So you can go from your highest, and as you go through, you give yourself a little tiny loop and bring yourself back to the highest. So again, you're gonna go through the loop and back to the highest. So how that looks is from here, I step, I go through the loop and back up. And again, through the loop and back up. So tick, tick, t, t, tick, t. Or tick, 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 Teak, teak, teak. Okay guys, let's put it all together now. We're gonna start with our follower step. Right foot back, we're going to have our Cuban action, 
pendulum and rotation, pendulum and rotation, and then I'm gonna decide to do the little roller coaster one. You guys can decide whatever one you wanna do, but let's practice it. So, right foot going back, we have pendulum rotation, pendulum rotation, triple step, triple step, and pendulum rotation, pendulum rotation, triple step, triple step, and boom, tika, boom, tika, ti, 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 boom, tika, boom, tika, ti, 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 ti. Good. Let's do it for the leaders. Left foot is going back. We have Pendulum rotation, pendulum rotation. Roller coaster, roller coaster. T, tika, t, tika, t, 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 tika, t, tika, t, 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 tika, t, tika, t, 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 t. Alrighty guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.